Hey everybody, it's Christine. Welcome to the June Stash Bash. This month we are playing with flair. And generally when I think of flair, I think of just those tin pin looking things. But uh, Marcia, who set us up this month, said you could do any like enamel dots and buttons and all those kinds of things. So I decided I would go with that because I literally have none of the traditional flair. So I am really going to focus on enamel dots today. And I am using my kit that I made at the beginning of this month. It's all beach themed products. And this is actually the first time I've used it because life. <laughs> um, but so if you want to check out what that kit looks like, go back a few videos and you will find it. It's called How to Kill a Kit with Style. Um, so I am obviously doing a beach themed layout. And what I've done is cut out a about a nine and three quarter inch circle to fit into that patterned paper. Um, it's a patterned paper from Doodlebug and it had a little green dotted outline that I liked. And so I'm covering that part up because I don't want all the pictures of succulents. Um, and I covered it up with a yellow cardstock circle and then I cut out some waves from another doodlebug paper and I am going to add those to the bottom of the circle. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to rub them along the edges to distress the waves a little bit and make them have some added texture. And then I'm gonna use my Easy Runner Grant to just put those on. So all I did to get these waves is I just cut out a circle in the exact same size and then cut along the bottom wavy with my, with my scissors. I didn't need any special tools for this. Okay, yes I did. I needed a circle cutter. <laughs> But beyond the circle cutter, I didn't use like an electronic cutting machine or anything. I just used my scissors to get the job done. And I I thought I wanted it to go up about halfway, but then I decided that was a little bit too tall. Um, and so I cut it down even further. And you can see I'm just gluing them right on there and kind of pulling up the top rough edges a little bit. Now I'm going to mat my picture in a green patterned paper and white and add that to the left hand side of the layout there. And then I am going to go ahead and use my enamel dots. So I'm, I had found these enamel dots on clearance recently and so I bought a whole bunch of them. So while you might be thinking, oh my goodness, that's a lot of enamel dots for, you know, at $4 a pop or something, I actually got these packages for 75 cents and so no fear, I went crazy buying them and I'm gonna go crazy using them when I feel like it. So I've added the picture on the left-hand side there and then I am, have added in all those enamel dots. You can see yellow all over the yellow part and that aqua blue all over the aqua blue part. And then I'm gonna pull out some old letters from Fancy Pants. These are die cut pieces and I didn't have all the right letters to make the word beach. So I modified an O to make it into an A and I modified something else. I don't remember what to make a C. And so then I could spell out beach. Um, I decided I wanted them all the same color and that was part of my problem. I could have made it work with multiple colors, but I really wanted to pull in more of that yellow. Um, and that is kind of the point in stash bashing, right? To take what you have and see if there's a way to make it work with what you want to accomplish without having to go and buy a whole new pack of letter stickers or go down and design a new cut file and all those things. And so this is a perfect example of just making it work. Now you can see I'm kind of shifting my enamel dots around a little bit and you're going to see me doing that throughout this video. As I add elements, I will move them around a little bit and then at the very end I'll just push them down nice and hard and make sure they're on there real secure. This is another sticker sheet from my kit that I made up and this is an old Echo Park sticker sheet I think. It's got real summery colors and I'm going to use some letter stickers from it to spell out hitting the, so it'll say hitting the beach, which I thought was appropriate for a teenage boy beach layout. I didn't want it to be anything too cutesy because we're kind of past that stage with him. We were more into the I'm almost a man stage <laughs> and so I wanted it to have a little more of a grown-up feel to it. And you can see I'm bringing in another color there by adding in that orange. Um, it's just, I, I ended up, you know, with the yellow and the aqua and of course white. And then I wanted some orange and some of that green as well. Now the next thing I'm going to do is use the outline of my circle there to go around and 
poke some holes so that I can create some sun rays with stitching. Now, sorry, my head's kind of in the way, can't see it real good. I just, you know, there's not a whole lot I can do about that after the video, but you can kind of see there a little bit better. I'm just using a ruler and going, I'm counting along on the dots that are on the circle and just making those even, but I'm staggering the lengths of my rays because I don't want those to all be perfectly even. I want them to be of varying um, distances from the circle. And you can see I'm just doing nice long straight stitches, nothing complicated, not a lot of little back stitches, but just nice long ones. So this goes pretty quick, only really took me about five minutes. And I even went with a really thick um, baker's twine. It's a solid baker's twine, but instead of breaking it into multiple pieces of of the twine so that I had only like three strands or something. I just left it as it was and went for it because I knew it wouldn't be too thick on this. And um, you know, when you don't have to separate the floss, that <laughs> saves you a little time right there. Now I'm gonna pull in some stickers from Doodlebug. These are some just cute palm trees. We were in South Carolina there and they have lots of palmetto trees and I don't know if these are palmetto or palm trees but close enough right? So <laughs> we're gonna make those work and I'm gonna pull those in around my title pieces there to just play up the green and actually bring in yet another color, some brown. Um, those stickers, I would have liked to have had another one, but I didn't, and I think it ends up being okay. If I had had a third one, I probably would have put it over on the other side of the picture, created a cluster over there, but it just wasn't happening, and so I left it like that. Now, you can see all that stitching there and how nice those rays look and how staggered they are. I'm going to bring in a little more brown by adding in a couple of tags, and these are not part of the kit. I went outside of it, and these actually come in one of the page kits from the scrap room this month. Um, but I knew the color would look nice with those palm trees, so I'm adding them in. And then I'm going to bring in some more enamel dots by adding them there in the center where they have those circular parts. I, I think, I, I don't, are those supposed to be coconuts maybe? I don't know. <laughs> uh, I'm not, don't laugh at me. I'm not totally familiar. So, so there you have it. There's my layout for today. Thank you so much for joining me and be sure to check out the rest of the videos along the way in this month's Stash Bash. We'll see you again soon. Thanks.